Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be giving you an in-depth look at my Notion template designed specifically for screenwriters. Inside the template, there is an ideas dashboard to capture, organize, and create new ideas. There's a writing projects page for setting up and prepping for your scripts, a reading hub that allows you to track everything you're reading and then use that material in your writing projects, as well as a habits tracker to make sure you stay motivated throughout your writing career. The template is also backed by some uh, serious thinking. There's some uh, best practices for personal knowledge management from Tiago Forte, the guy that came up with the Para Method, as well as the thinking of four creative and screenwriting gurus, including Eric Bork, Scott Myers, Julia Cameron and Lee Jessup. And of course, the link is down in the description where you can find the template. I'm really excited for today's video. Uh, in fact, this is the reason that I first got into Notion some four years ago, and also the reason why I set up this channel. Uh, I've been a, a budding screenwriter uh, since I left uh, school and I started using Notion to help me plan uh, my scripts but also to track my reading and to try and get the most out of everything that I was consuming. So after tinkering with it for about three years, uh, I'm finally ready to share it with you and I really think it could be of value to other screenwriters and writers. To best show you how this works, uh, I'm going to take you from uh, first uh, having inspiration or the uh, light bulb moment of uh, having an idea all the way to creating the script and then trying to uh, put that script into competitions and submitting it elsewhere. Just a caveat before we start, I am going to be using the Readwise integration, which is of course a paid subscription. And I also take advantage of Notion's new AI feature, which again is also a paid subscription. But both of those features are completely optional, although I do strongly encourage that you make use of them. So without further ado, here we are at the template for Notion for screenwriters. And on this homepage, you can get an overview of all of the dashboards uh, that sit within the template. And they're separated by four sections. We have the general organization where you can capture ideas and then process them, which essentially means send them to where they're going to live. We have the knowledge section, which is where we can keep track of all of our topics of interest, our notes, our reading materials, and our journal entries. There's the actual projects themselves, where we can come up with new ideas for projects and then actually prep the stories for our scripts and also a clever progress board, which lets us stay motivated throughout our writing. And then finally, we have the career section, which features a networking tool, a competitions dashboard, and this, a body of work page. This is a page inspired by Lee Jessup, the screenwriting coach, and essentially it's going to pull in all of the spec scripts and fleshed out premise ideas that are ready for you to pitch to potential opportunities. And finally, we have a portfolio page, which is my version of a no-code solution for a screenwriting website portfolio. So let's start at the capture page. The idea here is that you want to be able to capture uh, ideas as frictionlessly as possible. So we have two things. We have the buttons themselves, uh, which are Notions buttons, uh, and we can click these to uh, create new types of information. And then we also have the notes inbox itself. So essentially the way this works is if I was to create a note, it's going to open up my notes database and let's just call this a note about that thing. And then it's going to sit in this inbox for 24 hours. And then at the start of a new day, uh, this inbox will be clear. So this capture page stays nice and clean and is just for the purpose of capturing. So let's say inspiration strikes uh, and you have an idea for a story that you want to be able to quickly capture. But what we can do is come over to the buttons here and hit premise. And when I hit premise, it's going to give me the status of active, the source of note idea, and the topics of premise list. So let's say I have an idea about a boy and a girl fall in love. Not a very good idea, but I'm just thinking from the top of my head. And I can give it this premise template here, which is going to give it a nice little icon. And now that is going to skip the inbox and be sent straight to the ideas dashboard. But let's say you also have uh, not a fully fleshed out idea, but just a nugget of um, inspiration or interest that you want to capture. Well, that's where you can come to the story element. So let's say I open this up and um, I've been watching a little bit of wrestling recently that's been coming up on my TikTok. <laughs> and I had the idea that I want to uh, include a character of a uh, retired wrestler. Well, I can capture that and then I can give it the template of story element 
And again, that's going to skip the inbox and be sent straight to my ideas dashboard. Being screenwriters, uh, we can often be uh, suggested uh, new films uh, to watch. So we can also capture that from here. So we have uh, this read later, reading and read. So if we have a recommendation, it's something we want to read or watch later. So I can open this up and let's say a friend has suggested I watch the social network. I can capture that here and then I can choose what format it is out of all of these at the bottom here. So this is a film, I can hit film and then again, I escape this and it's been cleared from the inbox and sent to my reading dashboard. If I'm out and about, I can create a widget from the mobile capture page and then from my iPhone, I can quickly come into this page and use these buttons to capture any information I like. I can also capture information from elsewhere. So for example, let's say I've been reading the news and I find this article about a boat that's been captured on fire. Well, from the Save to Notion extension, I can come in here and let's say I have read the full article, I just want to keep it for reference. I can hit this here, I'm happy with the title uh, and I'm going to give it a template of, let's say this is some source material that I want to use for a potential story. So then I can hit the source, is uh, it's an article, um, the author and the topics I'm going to leave blank and I can save that page straight from the internet. I can also capture what I'm currently reading. So if I go to uh, the Kindle app on my phone, but of course you could also use um, the uh, an actual Kindle, uh, then I can come to uh, my current book and you'll see I can highlight this and then this will then be sent using the Readwise integration to my reading dashboard. So here is the reading dashboard. As you can see, we've got three sections. We've got a read later section, a bookshelf of everything that we've uh, read and then an author section, which um, shows us uh, authors uh, or creators uh, separated by what sort of creator they are. So for example, I can see that social network that I captured earlier as a recommendation has been sent to my read later. And let's say I decide I want to watch it. I could check this to active and now it's going to be sent to the reading section and I can see I've got the social network here. And then again, once I've watched the film, I might come into the page and have some comments that I want to write about it. And you'll see I've got a couple of things. Uh, I've got this AI block here that's going to prompt me uh, to give five questions about the social network. So let's change the film name to the social network and then I can hit generate. And then AI is gonna pull up five questions for me to answer, to reflect on about the social network. And this is great for trying to um, extract some more insights from all of the uh, films that you might be watching. And then once I'm happy with what I've uh, written, I might come back and, uh, and give this film a rating uh, and I can say that it's been read. But I might also decide that I want to use this, um, this uh, film elsewhere. So for example, there might be a project that this is particularly relevant to or a topic that I've been looking into that um, I could use for inspiration. Or I might just decide that I want to just use it generally for inspiration. What I can do is come and tag it for the inspiration. And now that's going to be sent to my ideas dashboard and I can mark this as complete. In the bookshelf area, we have some favorites and uh, the other part of the AI we're using is a summary feature. So this is gonna give us a summary of everything that's been written in the page body. So just at a glance, I can see all of the things that I've gleaned from uh, some of the things I've been watching. And if we come over to the article and paper, I can find that article that I clipped earlier. It's got all of its, uh, all of the page contents. And again, a summary um, of what the article is about. So I've tracked my reading and I've uh, sent some uh, source material and some stuff for inspiration. So now let's jump to the ideas dashboard and try and generate some new ideas. So this page uh, was inspired by um, something Eric Bork wrote in his book, The Idea. And essentially what he said in this, in that book um, was that he has a document uh, on his computer uh, where he captures uh, fragments of story ideas and then categorizes them. And uh, once a day for about 15 minutes, he tries to put different uh, elements together and come up with a new idea um, uh, based on uh, their sort of uh, contradiction. So this template uh, uh, replicates that but also has uh, some other features. So you can see here are some of the things that I've captured um, from uh, the story element uh, capture page. Uh, and I've got all these different categories. I've got character, situation, conflict, 
object belonging, dialogue moment, location, genre, topic. And then at the end here, you can see I've got add resonate uh, and I've got that retired wrestler that I captured from earlier. So I can come and drag this into the character um, category. So let's come up, let's try and come up with some, with some new ideas now. So what I'm gonna do is create a new brainstorming note and I'm going to first use the Eric Bork method to come up with an idea. So uh, let's take two of these items. Let's take uh, a retired wrestler uh, uh, on a first date uh, and also let's just include a gun. So I could try and come up with some ideas based on those disparate elements. So uh, I might say um, a wrestler goes on a first date that's not going well, but is then able to show off his physical prowess when he tackles a gunman to the floor. What I can also do is uh, prompt AI to uh, try and give me some ideas as well. So I can hit the uh, space bar and put in the information. So brainstorm five story ideas and let's see what it creates. And because I've put in some interesting prompts, um, not very typical of AI, but I tend to get some actual interesting answers. So we've got the wrestler is on a first date with someone who is anti-gun, but they end up in a situation where they have to defend themselves against the gunman. The wrestler is conflicted about using their physical abilities to fight back. But if I don't like some of these ideas, I can try rewording the prompt to see if I can get anything better. So let's try this. And what's great about this AI is that um, I'm not gonna take any of these at face value, but they then give me some more um, points to jump off of. So I've got this one about the wrestler's first date is with a fellow retired wrestler and they reminisce about their glory days in the ring. I actually think that could be a potentially sweet story. And I could even have um, it be two A wrestlers from the 80s that could ever express love or things like that and uh, their struggles to um, uh, enter the real world after being these mega superstars but finally their fame has kind of faded away. And just from uh, using two uh, disparate elements together and then uh, asking AI, I come up with something fairly interesting within three minutes. Of course, I can also go along to the different sections and try and come up with some ideas so I might think of uh, what a boat fire could be involved in Egypt or uh, how musicians and AI uh, could be a story. Now, some days you might write five story ideas that are absolutely terrible and that's fine. You're still practicing the muscle of uh, brainstorming, which is the main thing. But there might be other days where you actually say, this is a an idea that I want to develop. And this is where we have the premise list. So I'm gonna copy and paste this idea here and close this out. And now I've got a dedicated premise list where I can add all of the ideas uh, that I want to pursue and, and try to flesh out. So for example, let's say I've done a bit of work on uh, this idea. I can come in the page and I've written some notes about it. Um, and I'm actually ready to turn this into a project. Well, I can do this straight from here. So I'm gonna enter the project and let's call it Wrestling With Love. And I can hit new. And I, now I can access this project straight from here or I can come to the project section of uh, the uh, template. So let's come to this new one that we've made, Wrestling With Love. So we have the status um, to uh, keep us moving throughout the project and keep us motivated by showing us the progress. Uh, and then once we actually get to writing, we've got a page count. So if once this has been uh, set to writing, I can then say I've written 20 pages and based on uh, the target, um, uh, page count which by default is 90 but of course we could change that to let's say 120 pages we can start to see how uh, far along we are in finishing our script we then have um, uh, some uh, a box for our log line that we're always going to be working on so we can have that right at the front uh, front and center we can see that because we uh, captured this from a premise we can see the original uh, premise here and then something really cool is uh, if we've been capturing uh, uh, information that might be relevant or notes or resources that might be relevant to this project um, elsewhere or if we've used it for other projects we can pull this in now and use it again so for example let's say one of our characters is a dad i know i've got a topic all about parenthood here with two notes so i can attach this um, as a related topic 
And then what it will do is in the related notes and resources, once it loads, it's now gonna show me all of the notes I have about that topic. And then essentially the function of this template is that you are trying to uh, do the initial prep uh, on the left hand side. So you're uh, working on the log line and coming up with variations for the log line. And then once you've got the premise down, you're trying to think of what the theme could be um, and how it relates to character. Uh, and then you obviously have uh, the key story beats that happen. Um, and when you initially um, come up with the idea, you'll probably have uh, three or four story beats that you want to get down right away. And then of course, once you start having um, more ideas about the main character, you can start thinking about who the antagonist is and who the sub characters are and how all, they all interweave and are variations on the theme. And what's great about this is you can be working on the, these different toggles, toggling them up and down, um, and then coming over to the related ideas and notes resources and opening them in this side peak view, a bit like how we use in the idea dashboard and be referencing things as we're going along and coming up with story beats. Um, so it's great how this works between uh, your research and your notes and the actual story prep. I can also come in here and take a look at my inspiration. And let's say I know I have um, captured a uh, uh, the uh, Wrestler, which is a film about wrestling. And I know I have um, the film The Wrestler captured in here, so I can also bring that in like so and I can add it. And now in my inspiration, I now have that film attached that I can take a look at all, any of the notes that I've made I made about that film. So let's say I've uh, finished writing the writing uh, Wrestling With Love um, and uh, I want to favorite it because this is a, uh, a spec script that I actually want to use to either pitch um, to producers or to have uh, to potential um, other writers that I want to show. And now I've favorited it. When we go over to the career section, I have this body of work page, which as I explained, uh, has been inspired by um, Lee Jessup, which who talks about having about two to three spec scripts always ready at hand to show, because when you might go in for a potential pitch, um, you'll show them one spec, uh, but they always ask you about other stuff that you're working on. So it's always good to have as many as possible. And now because I favorited it, I can see all of the spec scripts that I have ready. So I have this one, and then I can also see all of the fleshed out ideas that I have ready um, to, to pitch if I need to. Um, and the idea being is that uh, this becomes your body of work and you want to have an aim to try and have about three spec scripts and about five fleshed out ideas. And then there's also a section uh, to write about your sort of biography uh, or your personal log line and then also personal narratives because uh, Lee Jessup always talks about um, when you go into these meetings, you're not trying to sell a, a script, you're trying to sell yourself as a writer because you're gonna be working on multiple projects um, or they want you to be working on multiple projects. So this is what this entire page is dedicated for. And then once we have some spec scripts that we want to uh, try and push out there, we can come to the competitions dashboard. And this is where you can come and capture and track uh, any uh, submissions. So I've got this BBC open call that I want to submit to and I can see it's upcoming uh, and I have 18 days to submit to it. And then I can see uh, the rules are it's 60 pages of anything that I want to write. And then I can track this and then once I've submitted it, um, and then I can track once it's been accepted. And then I can also track if I get awarded or rejected or all them kinds of things. So there's just a quick look at Notion for screenwriters. I hope you can see the value it could potentially have for you uh, as a screenwriter. Again, uh, the main idea for it being is that you have a place to capture ideas and then use those ideas uh, for multiple projects and inspiration for coming up with new, new projects. Um, and to keep that information constantly up and circular. Again, if you'd like to check out this template, uh, links are down below in the description. If you found this video interesting and want to take a look at the habit tracker section, uh, there's links to the video here. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.